Hey folks, this is Ty Colburn. You must buy my handbook to pass my class. <laughs> what? But I don't know how to properly tab or annotate my book. I'm going to fail. Do not fear, a student has figured out an extensive and neat tabbing system for your educational needs. The name is the Mera Tabbing System. Let's bring her in. Alright, so now let's talk supplies that you'll need for this tabbing system. Uh, I think the almost obvious thing that you'll need are tabs. Uh, these are like the post-it note brands that are plastic, but you can also get some free ones, you know. You can freeload from the university, they be giving out a lot of stuff. You'll also need a permanent marker. Any permanent marker will be good. You'll also be needing a couple highlighters, markers that can act as highlighters. Because just because you have a tabbing system, um, you also have to kind of like write in your book. Uh, so definitely get some highlighters, pens, etc, etc. And the last thing you need is uh, motivation to do this. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, those are just a few of the things that you'll need. And let's move on to how we get into the tapping system right now. All right, so uh, now that you have your supplies, let's get down into the nitty gritty on the whole tabbing system. So if I put a picture here, hopefully, um, you'll notice that I have two different size tabs, right? Boom. On the horizontal end, I have like each of them labeled like test one, test two, test three, test four, blah, 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 blah. And on the vertical end, I have all the smaller tabs that have like one letter, which is like E, T, C, and M. Uh, I'll get into those into much more detail in a bit, um, but take let's take a quick note on like the coloring, right? So if I put, um, but essentially if you look at like, for example, test one, right? The horizontal tab is blue, right? For test one. All of the smaller tabs that coordinate with test one are also blue. Um, I did that just because during a test, if I like, oh, I remember this concept being in like test one, then I can flip to only the blue tabs and I'll, I'll just know right away what I'm looking for. Each color changes as the test progresses. Uh, now let's talk about uh, specifically on the vertical end, each of the four letterings, right? So there are four letters. We have E, for, which stands for equation. So any equations that I find or deem important uh, in this handbook, I will tab it. Um, the next most common tab that I use, but is not as common as E, is the letter T. So T stands for any tables. Specifically, it's very common in my Structures 2 handbook. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like any allowable table that I need. Uh, the next letter that we have is C. That's slightly less common. Um, if a sentence that describes a certain concept or a conceptual thing that I feel Coburn might ask in like a quiz or like on a test that's multiple choice, um, I'll be like, oh, this is a concept I think that's very important or it feels very important. Um, I'll highlight the concept and I'll put like a tab right next to the highlighted concept that I have. Okay, the most rare letter that I have is M, methodologies. So if you're very, very lucky, if Coburn will put like a step-by-step -step on how to solve uh, a certain problem, I just put an M right there. Or if I write it out myself in like an empty page, I'll put it out right there for myself. Uh, so any methodology on how to solve something that requires multiple equations or like no equations at all, which is never gonna happen. Um, I'll just put it right there. Methodologies, it's like a step-by-step -step how to solve this, right? Um, but yeah, those are the four letter systems I have. Now, do you have to stick with all four letters? No, you don't. You can definitely deviate to whatever fits your uh, learning needs. All right, so we got my very complex uh, tabbing system down, right? You now know how to 
do your tab system, but you're like, okay, I have the tab system down, but now how do I annotate my book to make sure that I'm like not highlight highlighting every single line in the book and like circling any deviation of text that I see, uh, right? Because there's a tendency uh, for students to kind of just highlight everything because we think that everything is important. Um, spoiler alert, not everything is important. Um, so I will display a picture here, hopefully um, if I just, yeah, so here, uh, an example of how I'm recently annotating my book. Um, I mainly use three colors where, uh, like, I'll use pink, I think, uh, for, like, any equations that I want to box out next to the equation tab. Um, then I'll, like, have, uh, I'll highlight in a different color, for example, like, any concepts that I think I should understand or any, like, quick notes that coordinate, like, for example, like, if we have an equation and we have, like, certain variables that coordinate with that equation, I'll highlight that and kind of just direct it to the equation, like, I'll know. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, this is what this variable means in this equation, right? Uh, if there's any, like, concepts also that I need to know, I'll highlight that uh, in a different color, which is goes directly for concepts. Uh, I'll also make sure I do like side notes in pen, um, anything like, like, don't forget, like, this is the units for this equation, like, that you should have to make sure that you're right. Like, if this equation coordinate, like, has to have its units in kips, make sure that your answer is in kips, right? Things of that nature. Um, this annotation system will work, assuming, assuming that you're reading the book before lecture. If not, then you probably won't have any questions. Um, because you're probably going to be processing the information that you're learning in lecture. Uh, so hopefully this annotation system works. Definitely adjust it to like your needs or if you have a better uh, annotating system, go for it. This is what I'm doing and it's working out for me. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy or kind of get something out of this tabbing system. I know it seems like a lot of work to get into but if you do it early in all honestly I think you'll be fine like it's not like it took me like 30 minutes to like fix up a test section to be honest like it's not a lot of work it will be a lot of work if you're like waiting at the end of the semester to do your whole book um but if you start like per like section that you're reading it doesn't take more than like five minutes if you're like really looking to where you want to tab and if you're annotating well then take like I don't know as long as you take to read and annotate properly so yeah hopefully uh, you enjoy this video and subscribe to Coburn mm -hmm. hit that subscribe button that like button too and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to him because he has another nice annotating system thank you